Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about uh, how do we provision an application architecture using Terraform. So this is one of the uh, this is going to be a video on introduction about how uh, we are going to develop an application architecture. So if I show the picture, uh, this is how the network architecture looks for an application. So we have an application workload running on a VNet, and similarly we'll have another applica uh, VNet which will uh, have the administration related activities, uh, whatever uh, machines which will be hosted on the production architecture to actually perform administration activities will be there in this specific VNet. And the front end servers will be in a specific subnet in a VNet and business logic servers will be uh, in a specific subnet and the database uh, will be on the specific subnet. Now this is how an application architecture looks like. Now when a user sends the request, it reaches the Azure DNS and from the Azure DNS, we are going to have uh, uh, the uh, the endpoint configured on Azure DNS and it's reaching out the request to application gateway and the application gateway will route the request to the respective backend servers uh, so the front end servers which is running the Microsoft IES servers and uh, this will be in a specific subnet and we have an internal load balancer in place and that uh, then we have uh, uh, an application which is running this uh, inside in business logic and uh, this is in a specific subnet and then we have for database we have the SQL server and the SQL database and to manage this entire infrastructure we have site recovery for critical servers and we have backup uh, established for critical servers and we have a short policy to perform governance on this architecture and we have aut Azure automation accounts to perform the automation related jobs and we have Azure monitor to monitor the entire infrastructure. So whichever is a possible of provisioning through Terraform, we actually try to do this entire thing on Terraform. So when I say whichever is possible, we are going to use uh, Terraform uh, uh, in scripting in wherever it was needed but in case if it is not done through Terraform that point of time we can use the ARM templates and we merge that in the Terraform scripts and we can provision it but uh, let's deep dive into it now as of now before we jumping into this architecture we'll develop a uh, network architecture in the upcoming video so I'll deploy two virtual networks and then I'll perform a VNet peering uh, and I will develop the subnets and everything through Terraform. So stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and refer this playlist uh, Azure Network Application Architecture through Terraform and uh, you get the entire set of next updates on this playlist. Thank you.